All right, what's for breakfast this weekend? I like bagels, personally, and I think Barbie and the dolls in my dollhouse would both like to have some bagels, too. So join me, and I'll show you just how easy it is to make bagels in any scale. Well, first let's talk about what we need to have in order to make our little bagels. First off, obviously we need clay. And this is an off-white. It's actually, I started with white, and I threw in a little bit of a, a tan, kind of beigey color, and a tiny bit of yellow to come up with kind of a creamy white color. We also need some cornstarch. Um, and I like to use a powder brush or a blush brush from... Um, the dollar store to apply it because you don't get too much this way. It's it's really a good size and shape of brush. In order to shape your clay, you'll need a ball stylus of some kind. Uh, whatever you use, it has a round point. I like this one a lot because it has this kind of rubbery tip on the end that's also round. Because you need to shape your clay. We'll need a pick tool of some kind to texture the inside. Um, a needle would work, a toothpick, whatever you use to make texture with. We'll need a clay blade. Wet wipes are always really important, especially when we've got white clay. A ruler is really handy because we need to size this to scale. And to make it look nice and cooked and brown, we need some, some chalks in yellow ochre, kind of a, a lighter ochre color, and some browns. Those are the colors we need. To um, use those, I like to put them into one of these little paint palettes, and I like to use a craft knife, not my clay knife, to scrape them. And to apply the chalk, I like an eyeshadow brush. I buy these also at Dollar Tree. They are real inexpensive, and they work really well for the, the powdery chalks. And you'll need a surface, of course, to bake on, and I like my paper plate because it doesn't give a shiny surface on the bottom. And so let me get straightened up here, and we'll start making bagels. So here's a real bagel and I measured it. This one's about four and a half inches across. Those bagels aren't completely round. They're because when you make a real bagel you take a piece of dough and you kind of a snake and you form it together to make a circle. So here's where it joined together. Um, it's nice and golden brown on the outside and it's, it's a creamy color pretty close to the color of my clay on the inside and it's got a good crumb texturing to it. Um, but that's so we know what the bagel looks like. So we'll put this off to the side. So let's get started. First we need to decide, well first we need to actually, I want to put some cornstarch on my hands, especially my fingertips. Don't need it on the clay itself as much, but on my fingers because this will help me to not make fingerprints. This is kind of a soft clay that I picked today because um, it'll be easier to work with, a little faster to work with today. But because it's softer it picks up a lot of fingerprints. So I want to dust my fingers a little bit. Let's make a ball and see how this one works. Is that going to be too, yeah, it's going to be a little bit big I think. Let's make a ball. I like to start with my ball. For 112 scale I like to start with a about a quarter inch ball so that when I smoosh it down I put a hole in it it's going to be about three-eighths of an inch because three-eighths of an inch equals about four and a half inches in 112 scale. It's almost too round there. So let's make a couple of those. First let's get a quarter inch balls made. And always have wet wipes on hand when you're working with light colored clay because light colored clays pick up every bit of color and dust in the universe. When I picked up my bagel last night at the bakery, the grocery store bakery, it was 
not the biggest one in the case, but it wasn't the smallest one either. So I picked it on purpose because it was kind of in the middle as far as size went. It's kind of the average sized bagel. Poke a hole in there and get our bagels. I'll show you how to cut at least one of them open. We'll cut some open and show the inside, and we'll have some that are closed. So we've got four of them. Let's do one more. Let's see if I can get one more about the right size. And I like working right on this clear ruler. It makes it easy to tell if I'm in the right size. This one, I don't like this one. It's too big. There. That looks better. What is that? There's a hair out of my brush on that one. There we go. Get that hair out of there. I think my powder brush is shedding today. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of these colored. I can make some more off camera to fill out my basket, fill out my display. Let's get some of this light golden yellow. yellow ochre. Start with these colors. We don't need much brown, maybe a little, but not much. And always start with your lighter color. Bottom. Now, unlike a donut, a bagel is colored on the all the way around. You notice if you look at a donut, there's usually a light streak down the side. With a bagel, there's not. a little of this darker color on a few of them. And I don't think I need any brown on these. I think this is, let's see, let's get a look next to the real one. Now maybe a little tiny, tiny bit of this brown. Just a, yeah, just a little bit. So let me color the rest of these, and then I'll come back and we'll make some in 1-6 scale. All right, now we'll make a couple of Barbie size bagels. Now Barbie size, 1-6 scale, we need to have a bagel that's finished size about three-fourths of an inch across. So let's see how I did here. And obviously it will need to be thicker. And I'm going to use the bigger ball stylus. Why is there a hair on here? There. Now get some chalk out. Once again, there's that. We need our chalk. We need to color this because we need it to look like it's been baked. And I always start with the lighter color chalk and work up to darker. Ah, I 
kept it. All right, so there's our Barbie size. Now let me get this cleaned up and we'll try cutting a couple open and doing some texture. Let's very carefully see if we can cut one of these open. Now it would have probably been best if I would have put these in the freezer. And I might have to. But it's okay if these aren't completely round, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's get that hole back. Now, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Let's see if I can do this and have you guys still see it and have it where I can see it. Now we just need to kind of tease our clay. I'm just kind of picking at, oops, did not want to do that. Just kind of picking at the soft clay in here in the center and lifting and making little holes and it makes it look like it's got the texture like the inside of the real bagel. So you can kind of, there. Let's see if I can do the Barbie size one too. And I always try to make sure. Oops. Okay, now you can't see again. Chalk off the back of my hand. Everybody else moved down in my way. And just pick at that and raise up some crumbs. And if you don't like how this turned out after it's baked, you can spread some white, soft white clay on here and bake it again and you'll have your cream cheese covering up your texture if you don't like how the texture turns out. And if you don't want to do texturing, you can always just leave them uncut and have your bagels not cut yet. That works too. This is a lot easier to do when I'm not trying to do it with the camera. So my tendency is to put my face right down by it so I can really see what I'm doing and it's, then I'm in the way of the camera. So, Well, I'll continue to work on that off, off camera and I'll go bake these and then we can see how they turn out. So here are our bagels in 1 6 scale and 1 12 scale. And here's the one that's cut. If um, you want to work in 1 3rd scale, just make them about an inch and a half in diameter. Same principle, but just a little more clay. So I hope you have fun with this one. Be sure and find us on Facebook, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.